Hey, good morning guys, it is Nick Mulbauer here again and we are at the same spot we caught those big ones at about a week ago, actually a week to the day we caught them. And conditions are very similar, but the deal is, is we got a lot of rain in the state and this quarry is actually sometimes connected to the Des Moines River when it's up enough. And right now it's up enough. So uh, the water level from last week, I think it's up three or four feet in here. Uh, the water from the Des Moines River is backed up into it and it is up high. So it's going to be a very interesting morning. Um, we'll see. It could be a very make or break kind of a day. We could either do really well or we could really strike out. I really like the conditions, but there's a lot of water down here and a lot of new cover for fish to put themselves up into because what was once dry land is now very much submerged so we're gonna get out there we got a lot of work to do we'll see if we can find some wish me luck let's get out there Okay, guys, I don't even know how to explain this one. As I mentioned, the water's up three feet, guys. This is a normally a 10 foot flat all the way across. And today, it's 13 feet. But there we go. There's a good one. We might be on them. There's some shad right off of this point here. And I'm wondering if these crappie are up chasing these shad. But we're going to get that one back. Beautiful fish. Another just absolutely beautiful fish. I have no idea how this is going to affect their spawning, but the water being up three feet really can displace fish. So I'm just going to keep throwing off this point. Uh, the deal is, is I think that if there are fish, they're going to be piled up pretty good. So we'll just see what happens here. Those might be spawning crappie there. I don't know if they're, they seem like they might be crappie and not carp. They're behaving a little differently. So if that's the case, that would be really cool if I could get on just a cluster of fish. Really hoping I'm not on a one-off deal here, but those might be crappie up there. Spawning right now. gone look at that guys you can't get any closer to spawn than that look at her look at that eggs coming out wow that's perfect timing water temp 63 degrees get this girl back so she can do her business this female is losing eggs guys look at that she's losing them right there Timing the spawn, guys. We'll get her back. They're spawning right up on the bank there. I am within feet of spawning fish, guys. Nailed it. Crushed the timing. Amazing. Get her back. Let her carry out her mission this year. Those fish up shallow there that are spawning, they have absolutely no interest in biting a jig. They are there to do their business. I tried vertical jigging them, but they are too busy doing their thing so what i'm doing is i'm rolling bottom running parallel to these banks and breaks and that's how i'm picking them up pretty crazy though i think it's still going to be tough the water clarity is really bad it's pretty poor but the fact that we have them concentrated here might help us catch some fish so i'm just going to fan cast this area and see if i can't pick up some crappie that are on their way to do their deal. Oh my 
gosh, guys. It has been three hours. These fish are up very shallow. They're spawning. It's, be it's very obvious these fish are spawning. But getting them to bite is pulling teeth, guys. This is what we're dealing with. These fish are up shallow. They're in that stuff. You can see them. And I think I timed the spawn too well, I think. It's so difficult getting these fish to actually bite. I've been dipping jigs. I've been using minnows. I've been doing everything. I think what happened was these fish are spawning and they couldn't have timed it better. Water temp is 65 degrees. In addition to that, the river came up and it just timed out so perfectly for these fish because now they have just infinite options for spawning beds. All of this, all of this is never underwater. It is now underwater. And now it just kind of comes down to will those fish have a successful spawn because what's going to happen now is that water is going to recede and if those fish don't hatch in the right amount of time those fish might not make it the fry because those beds will be up on dry land because like i said that water's come up three feet and it might disappear just as fast a possibility it's a possibility yes all right guys we got one to go on the minnow yeah gone <laughs> oh my goodness yeah look at that check this out guys female again she's just ready to go she's so close oh that's awesome just inhaled that thing boy i don't even know if i can get that out there we go got it out nice female though the females are shallow guys that is very obvious that these females are shallow, but guys, these fish are impossible to catch. She's bleeding out a bit, so I better get it, get her back. Oh my goodness. Like I said, I think these fish are so busy getting it on, the majority of them, that actually catching them is very difficult because they're not eating, they're spawning. All right, guys, I just got loaded up, and what a doozy of a trip, guys. I don't know if I've ever sp timed that spawn so well in my life. Yet, I don't know if I've had such a difficult spawning trip in my life. So there's a lot to talk about, guys. It was an interesting day, lots to talk about. I gotta get going home, I have things to do, so we're gonna reconvene in my basement when I have some time we'll discuss today because there's a lot to talk about so stay tuned stick with me see you in a sec bye all right guys i know i said that we have a lot to talk about and we really do but after thinking about it a bit i kind of want to get you guys opinion on this video i was around a ton of fish it was very obvious that crappie were spawning up on the bank and they just seem too busy to want to bite anything and maybe that's just the case sometimes you know sometimes no matter what you throw at them sometimes they're just not in the mood or too busy to bite so i kind of want you guys' opinion if you guys would be willing to share with me um, something you might do in a similar situation to get those fish to bite i tried fan casting for them i used a slip bobber and a minnow and I vertical jigged them, like you said, deep up in that cover. I just put my rod tip out and vertical jig those fish and have that jig just sitting in the strike zone hoping something would hit it. But all in all, like they were just not about it. So um, yeah, feel free to drop a comment and uh, let me know your thoughts on what you've done in a similar situation. That would be very interesting for me to hear. So y'all take care. We're getting out again today. I think today is the last push. It's another seven days later. I have been super busy and uh, I've not had any time to work on my fishing stuff. Um, 
So yeah, drop a comment, like, subscribe if you can. It helps the channel a lot and it is more appreciated than you know. I appreciate y'all already. So thanks for watching. We'll get back out on the water. I'll see you soon. See you guys.